Hey everyone, it's Aaron Flutter here and I am here setting up for the next week of April. So this is the second week. It is going to be a very, very busy week for me. I have a 40 hour training, which means that I am in the office Monday through Friday, um, doing eight hour trainings every day. Uh, Friday, I also have to do a site visit for that training. So it's going, it's going to be an exhausting week. So I thought that I would kind of structure my weekly page out so that I um, can't add a lot more extra stuff to it. So I've blocked off this middle section to use that same Craft Smart Champagne Gold that I used for my front page of April. And so I'm going to block that off so that I can do this and then limit the rest of my weekly to these pages and just do running lists for those. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and put on some music. See you on the other side. Alright, so I was actually working on my acrylic signs for my wedding while this was drying because I had leftover paint from this Craftsmart uh, uh, Champagne Gold and that's what I'm using on the acrylic slices. So um, just so you know, you can work on other things while other parts of your projects are drying. and taking this washi tape off. It's providing such a nice clean edge. Oh my God, I could watch that all day long. All right, so like I said in the intro, um, I basically block this off so I don't do too much this week uh, in an effort for self-care, things like that. Um, I'm blocking this section off, plus it is cool in the aesthetic sense and it ties back in, like I said, to that beginning page. So basically this is how it's gonna look when I'm going through my days is I'm just gonna have one big long list. Um, this is very true to the essence of the bullet journal system and um, Ryder Carroll's system in general. And he re-emphasized that in his Back to Basics book that he had uh, released earlier this year or late last year, I'm not quite sure. Um, so I'm gonna try it out for this week just because I just kind of want a constant stream going through my head of what uh, what is going on <laughs> and I kind of did that while I was working on my master list so that's what I'm going to pull from a lot since during my actual work day because I'll be in training there's not really much to do in terms of during the day at work uh, although I think that training has some homework um, to go home with me but I just started my list with uh, Inbox Zero, SBCC training, painting centerpieces, escort cards, and doing the photography info for my wedding. So that is all I'm going to show you today. I'm sorry that I'm not going to fill out more, but I can't exactly do that when the whole purpose is for me just to start doing tasks every single day. But this is basically how it's going to look. Um, and then whenever Monday is done, it's going to look exactly the same for Tuesday. So that is my weekly setup. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys like the idea of just kind of blocking stuff off just so you're trying not to add too much on your plate because that seems to um, that seems to work pretty well with me. If, if I give myself a set amount of space uh, to work in, then sometimes it keeps me from doing too much and 
uh, just really overworking myself, which I've been doing a lot lately. So hopefully <laughs> this kind of method works for this week. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, like, subscribe, notification bell, all that kind of jazz, and I will see you on Friday. Bye everyone.